Hello guys, welcome to today's advanced colorful makeup look. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this colorful makeup story on your eyes. It took me a lot of time to create this, again, because this one is advanced. But um, without any further ado, let's jump into this tutorial. Of course, before we apply any eyeshadow, we need to prime our eyelids. And for that, I'm using Bionica Color Defense primer and then I've used MAC paint pot in soft ochre taking my small blending brush this one is from NYX professional makeup number 44 and for my first eyeshadow I'm mixing two shades first one is shade makeup from carnival palette from be perfect in collaboration with Stacy Marie next shade is shade muse from Ilamas unveiled palette I know it's a bit harder when you mix two eyeshadows at the same time but this is the perfect the perfect shade that I need for this step so that's um that's exactly what I'm gonna do and so I am going with this shade right into my crease this shade makeup it looks um a lot more neutral in the palette but when you apply it it looks a bit more pinkish and this is already looking so intense and I, I repeated the same process I took more product just to repeat what I'm doing right now slowly using blending motions I am just spreading the product out towards my hairline towards my nose but this area right here we're gonna keep it more neutral so I'm gonna add more brown shade and for that I wanted a more brown undertone so that's why I'm just going to use this color right here which is the color we already used that is Muse color also this color will help me to make kind of contour towards my nose just making sure to blend this really well now with the same brush I do want to use a lighter color I'm going to use this color right here shade called Assured before I apply really light color underneath my eyebrow just to connect we are going to be using a lot of shades today a lot of blending, a lot of sh lots of shades so where I am going right now with this color is to make a transition and to make transition softer to the lightest color and that's why I'm using this color just around the edges of the previous shades that we used and the shade that we created and I do want to have a smoother transition towards my nose area Okay, once I'm done, once I have done this, I will be moving on towards my smaller brush. Actually, I want to take even smaller brush for this. Wait, I do have a perfect brush for that, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna use this. It's actually a brush that I've received in a when I bought the black eyeliner from I think it was from L'Oreal. I forgot. Using spirit color, yellow undertone, really, really bright but still not too white when I'm using light shades I like to start from the middle of this arch from uh, underneath my eyebrow and then spread the color um, on my left and on my right also I'm adding a little just a tiny bit of spirit color on the edge on my inner corner towards my nose because I do want to make this transition even more smoother than already is and wow, look, we have a seamless transition between our eyeshadows and now we are going to move on to our next step. I want to add a little bit of red color and for that I'm using uh, Huda Beauty Ru Ruby Obsessions palette. This palette has been such a great palette when it comes to reds. It doesn't contain a lot of eyeshadows and it's a small palette but um, the colors that, that you get here, they are beautiful. So I'm going to use small pointy brush and use this shade right here also if you notice I never go almost never go straight with it with the eyeshadow that is on my brush I always take the essence of the product I'm going a bit lower I don't want to mess up everything that I have done already so far um, I just want to add a little bit of darkness a little bit of redness to this shape now I grabbed a little bit of makeup color on my brush again and just going on top of what I'm what I've created I don't want to focus that much on my inner corner and then I want to use this shade from Huda Beauty Amethyst palette told you we are going to use so many eyeshadows today we already used like six eyeshadows so far and like I said we are going to use a lot of eyeshadows today wow this transition is so so beautiful it goes from natural 
skin type brown color toward this red pinkish colors and then diffusing to you know more subtle finish So before I move on to my eyelids and do any eyeshadow, I will go again with my base. I will also make sure just to not touch any eyeshadows that I already have. Also if needed, use a smaller brush. Now I notice this pretty light but warm reddish undertone um, matte light shade. This one is perfect for what I need in my inner corner based on everything else that is going on on with our color story yeah this looks really nice and now I will move on to my makeup shade it is a little bit too much pink and I will mix it with the same color that I mixed in the beginning now to change this tone a little bit I will be adding this color and once I'm done with this I'm using NYX Foil Play Magnetic Pool Palette this shade right here and I will use that for my inner corner and this will give um, glass kind of style finish it's really shiny and since I want a little bit more lighter effect I will be using this Moonlight Lysen shade from Pat McGrath this is Venus and Floors Luxe Quiet Voyeuristic, <laughs> Voyeuristic Vixen and this is such a beautiful shade I don't think I'm using this shade enough now for my lower part, before anything, of course, I'm applying my primer, skin primer, eyeshadow primer. So first of all, I will mix colors that I already used and I'm going right underneath my eye. And once that is done, I'm using this shade right here. And once I'm done with that, I'm using, actually mix, mixing this and this color right here. As I mentioned already, this bullet brush is perfect for this under eye area, it gives you perfect amount of the wideness of your eyeshadow that, need, that you actually need if you are doing this style, this type of looks. With my blending brush, clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend this area right here. I will slightly go with this color right here. Anyways, going now to add some yellow color not too bright and what is good about this right now this will also mix with our previous eyeshadow will give nice transition as well and at the same time I do want to add a little bit more redness I'm gonna use this multi chrome from the same Pat McGrath palette just as a transition I'm mixing a little bit of fortune color from the Stacey Marion Be Perfect Carnival palette to brighten up this yellow and now to fill in waterline, I will be mixing two products and those are from Acid Rain Collection, Ibiza and Ecstasy paints and these are great, they are waterproof, they are extremely waterproof and yeah, I really like the shades that they have Thank you so much for watching and before you go make sure to watch this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!